Chapter 134, Saving a Major Customer Wednesday, Noon Research Institute No. 14, Laboratory No. 1 And Zhao Xaxui was wearing a skimpy outfit as she sat in an experimental equipment warehouse. Dozens of probes of different colors and sizes poked out from the experimental equipment warehouse. These probes were all attached to various parts of Zhao Xu's body. Most of them were on her head, neck, and back. An extremely thin silver probe actually pierced into the center of Zhao Xu's head. On the other side of the experimental equipment warehouse was another Zhao Xaxui, who was also connected to many instruments. She was completely naked. There was no spiriti in her eyes when she opened them. It was obvious that she was a clone of Zhao Xaxui. The real Zhao Xu's face was slightly pale and her eyes were tightly shut. Beside Zhao Xaxui stood another tall woman. She had fair skin, black hair, and a perfect figure. Her figure was voluptuous. Her legs were still really long. This woman had never appeared in the research institute number 14 before. Suddenly, this person spoke. Zhao Xaxui, he's coming over. And Zhao Xaxui, who was conducting an experiment with her eyes closed, suddenly fluttered her eyelashes. Stop him for a few minutes, all right. At this moment, Zhu Tui had just arrived at the entrance of the research institute number 14 after lunch. He pressed the button and the elevator quickly arrived. He entered the elevator and swiped his identity card. He was a little confused. The elevator had stopped working. Was it an elevator malfunction? He waited for another minute. The elevator was still not running. Helpless, Su Tui left the elevator in confusion to look for security. The security guard was also confused when he learned about Su Tui's problem. The elevators here are all monitored by a computer. There can't be a malfunction. Well know immediately if there is a malfunction. Ill inform the logistics maintenance team. However, the logistics maintenance team has to first apply to the logistics department and the security department before they can enter the internal passageway of Research Institute number 14 to check on the maintenance. After these two departments agree, they can only enter for maintenance after obtaining the authorization of Research Institute number 14. It might take some time. How troublesome. What a waste of time. Zhu Tui was a little anxious when he heard that. So he called in Zhao Xaxui first. Miss An, is the elevator in our Research Institute broken? If it doesn't run when I go in, I might have to find someone to repair it. The elevator is broken? Don't worry, wait a few minutes. It'll get a Huang to check first. It's too troublesome with the maintenance team. All right. Zhu Tui informed the security officer and decided to wait for a Huang's results. A Huang was a supercomputer on the same level as the Shenong from the Huaxia Genetic Evolution College. It should be very powerful. Time passed in Laboratory 1 of the Research Institute No. 14. Suddenly, blood gushed out of the seven orifices of Zhao Xu's clone, who was in the laboratory behind the experimental instrument. Her head tilted, and she lost her life. I failed again, and Zhao Xaxui slowly opened her eyes, feeling a little tired. Ah Huang, pack up. Is five minutenef? Morier, less. Return the elevator to normal in five minutes. At the same time, the humanoid creature with the perfect body proportions, Ah Huang, had already begun to clean Laboratory 1 as quickly as possible. The vacuum cleaner, the scrubber, began to work almost simultaneously. Oh right, Xiao Xaxui, what about me? Should I give Zhu Tui a surprise? You? And Xiao Xaxui stared at Ah Huang's perfectly proportionate body and shook her head. Forget it, nothing good will come out of letting you out like this. All right. Ah uh, Huang, actually, I think the animal body that the founder created for you at the beginning is the most suitable. It'll be more convenient for me to bring you out. Zhao Xaxui, I hate that body. I'm a high-level intelligent creature, not an animal. Ah uh, Huang was a little angry. All right, all right, I was wrong. I apologize. I'm sorry, it'll change my clothes and Zhao Xaxui left Laboratory 1. Ah Huang was still muttering, Hey Emph, Xiao Xu's apology is not sincere at all. She's getting more and more perfunctory with me. Five minutes later, the elevator returned to normal. Zhu Tui stepped into the research hall in confusion. 
and Zhao Xaxui was resting with her eyes closed on a chair. One of my hair accessories dropped in the elevator and triggered the operation ban. It has been resolved, and Zhao Xaxui explained casually. Why did you come over at noon today? What's the matter? And Zhao Xaxui asked. Miss An, I think that the students are very anxious about the Haruji challenge on special Weibo. Do you want to respond? Won't everyone understand if you take an injured photo to explain the situation? Zhu Tui hesitated but still voiced his thoughts. Hearing this, and Zhao Xaxui instantly sat up. You mean you want me to admit defeat and bow my head? That's not what I meant. However, sending a photo to show that I'm injured is equivalent to admitting defeat. Moreover, sending a photo might not make everyone believe me, and Zhao Xaxui said. Zhu Tui was silent. What in Zhao Xaxui said was also the truth. Moreover, Kai Hongying was right. Judging from in Zhao Xu's tone, she had not given up on the battle. She might still be preparing or working hard. Miss An, Haruji is too shameless. You haven't recovered from your injuries. It wouldn't be worth it if you were to force yourself to accept the challenge and suffer irreversible injuries. I think it's fine if you don't fight, Zutui said carefully.